Chapter 1 Fundamentals of Business Analysis Hello everyone, this is Jefferson from Robust Digital Expert Mastermind Mentoring Class with Start Here with Jefferson. Welcome to the Business Analyst Fundamentals. We shall be covering the Chapter 1 which is the Fundamentals of Business Analysis. In this chapter, we will cover the following topics. What is business analysis? Roles of a business analyst. Terms and definitions. Overview of the business analyst activities. And business analyst competencies. What is business analysis? The International Institute of Business Analysis defined business analysis as the practice of enabling change in an enterprise by defining needs and recommending solutions that deliver value to the stakeholders. Business analysis has evolved extensively over the last two decades. It has emerged as a core business practice in the 21st century and business analysts have established themselves in every department of every organization. What is the history behind business analysis? How did it become so essential? In the early 90s, there was a rapid increase in the need to incorporate IT in businesses, which led to a lot of innovation in the field of IT. Data storage was enhanced. User-friendly programs such as Java were invented. Graphical user interface came into being as well. All this led to a boom in information technology, although the value of technology was apparent. A large sum of money was being spent, but why? Industries had less experience of planning tax ahead. The systems were developed considering the latest technology but without reconsidering the need to develop it, the relevant use and the target people. The communication between the business users and programmers was hard. Organizations started hiring a group of technical experts who helped in developing systems by translating requirements into lines of codes. This group of technical experts are known as systems analysts. They had a technical outlook for the application to be developed, but we are lacking in business acumen. There was a great need for someone who will analyze the need for the system, its requirement, and then provide the exact IT requirements. Thus, the business analyst was born and the role of the business analyst came into existence. Business analysis, a restaurant metaphor. The role of the business analyst is like that of a waiter taking an order for a family meal in a fancy restaurant. Like how a restaurant works, the waiter has to know the menu, get the customer's orders right, communicate the order to the kitchen and present the meal to the client. To do this, the business analyst needs to have the ability to understand the systems or platform's capabilities, translate the client's business needs, clearly document it in a way that the system can be developed or configured, and finally ensure what has developed matches what the client asks for. Knowing the menu. This is a key area that should not be overlooked. The analyst needs to understand the product or offering for which the client's bespoke development is being done. A customer may want a steak, but it is up to the waiter at a vegan restaurant 
to inform them that it would not be possible. Similarly, the analyst needs to understand what the client wants and know what it is within the realm of possibilities that can be developed for the platform. It's key for the analyst to understand the product or product suit in depth. They need to understand what items in the menu can address the client's business need. Additionally, when gathering requirements or other activities, the analyst can clearly inform the client of any system constraints or boundaries that they should be aware of. Getting the order right. Imagine a family goes to an Italian restaurant for dinner. The father would like spaghetti with meatballs and extra garlic. The wife would like pasta, hell dante, light on the cream in the sauce. Their 10 year old son would like pizza, hold the tomatoes, hold the onions, extra pepperoni. Quite a complex order with different stakeholders with unique requirements that need to be addressed. The waiter needs to get this order documented correctly. Clearly, gathering and documenting requirements is the most essential function of the business analyst. The analyst needs to understand what the client wants and document it correctly and in a way that development teams and quality assurance teams can understand, develop and test against. At the end of the day, the client has a business need to be addressed. Whatever the nature of the development, the ultimate solution must contribute towards addressing or resolving that business need. Communicating the order to the kitchen. As in any busy restaurant kitchen, the waiter needs to communicate the order to the chef to prepare the meals. Similarly, the business analyst needs to ensure that the documented requirements can be consumed by the development and quality assurance teams. As part of the documentation work stream, clearly and concisely documenting the business requirements, business rules and any other business logic helps eliminate any confusion in the solution or development. Business analysts need to have clear lines of communication open with developers to ensure that any questions on logic or requirements are promptly answered and addressed. Similarly, as in a restaurant, the customer may have a change of heart with their order as such. Business analysts need to be able to effectively manage the change request process, whereby any changes to the business logic or requirements can be addressed by the development team as the project proceeds. Confirming the order was made correctly. When the meals are finished, they need to be delivered to the customers. Business analysts need to be on the front lines of delivery when presenting the solutions to the client. They need to complete the first level acceptance testing after the quality assurance team reviews the release to ensure that what was developed matches the customer's needs. They are closest to the client and understand not just the business need. You now can appreciate that business analysis and business analysts play vital roles in satisfying clients' needs. A business analyst, BA, is someone who analyzes an organization or business domain, real or hypothetical, and documents its business or processes or systems, assessing the business model or its integration with technology. The role of a business analyst may differ depending on the organization, but there is an area of common ground where most business analysts work. There are different role definitions depending upon the organization. The core responsibility of a business analyst. Investigating business systems. Investigating business system takes a holistic view of the situation. This may include examining original structures, staff development issues, and current process and IT systems. Evaluate actions 
to improve the operation of the business system. Again, this may require examining organization structure and staff development needs to ensure they align with any proposed process redesign and IT system development. Document the business requirements for the IT system support using appropriate documentation standards. Elaborate requirements in support of the business users during evolutionary system development. The business analyst skill is to analyze the business and its environment and market, including identifying options for change. The business analyst will communicate the rationale for change regarding business needs and objectives in collaboration with business and technical stakeholders. Any adversary role is responsible for investigating and analyzing business situations, identifying and evaluating options for improving business systems, elaborating and defining requirements, and ensuring the effective implementation and use of information systems in line with the needs of the business. The agent of change. The business analyst is an agent of change. Business analysis is a disciplined approach for introducing and managing change to organizations, whether for profit businesses, governments, or non-profits. Job titles for business analysis practitioners include Business Analyst, Business Systems Analyst, Systems Analyst, Requirements Engineer, Process Analyst, Product Manager, Product Owner, Enterprise Analyst, Business Architect, Management Consultant, Business Intelligence Analyst, Data Scientist, and more. Many other jobs, such as Management, Project Management, Product Management, Software Development, Quality Assurance and Interaction Design rely heavily on business analysis skills for success. Business analysis is used to identify and articulate the need for change in our organization's work and to facilitate that change. The business analysts identify and define the solutions that will maximize the value delivered by an organization to its stakeholders. Business analysts work across all levels of an organization. They may be involved in everything from defining strategy creating the enterprise architecture, taking a leadership role by defining the goals and requirements for programs and projects, or supporting continuous improvement in its technology and processes. The business analyst has the specialized knowledge to guide and lead the business through the unknown or unmapped territory to get it to its desired destination. The value of business analysis is in realizing benefits, avoiding the cost, identifying new opportunities, understanding required capabilities, and modeling the organization. Through effective business analysis, the business analyst can ensure an organization realizes these benefits, ultimately improving the way they do business. Terms and definition. Six concepts from the foundation of business analysis. Change, need, solution, context, stakeholder, and value. The business analysis core concept model, BACCM, describes the relationships among these core concepts in a dynamic conceptual system. All the concepts are equally necessary. There is no prime concept defined by the other core concepts. Because of this, no one core concept can be fully understood until all six are understood. The Business Analyst Total 
The six core concepts represent the different parts of the business analyst total. We have divided the total into three parts to understand the concept. The upper body of the total. Let's start with the total's head and front legs, need, change, and solution. Like the body parts, the core concepts are all connected. The need is always at the beginning of business analysis, the front left leg of the total. A need can be a problem that needs to be solved. It can also represent a chance which can be sensed, for example, the development of a new market. Regardless of which case it is, a need always triggers a change, which is necessary to improve the performance of a business. It is not an accident that the turtle's head represents the change. A change is initiated to implement a solution that better fulfills the existing need. A need triggers a change. A change is initiated to implement a solution. The lower body of the total value. We will now sketch two other relationships. The first connect a solution with the value because a solution always has to create value otherwise it is not a solution. This value could be, for example, return on capital, reduction of losses or risks, material or non-material gains, for example, higher employee satisfaction. A value must also be measurable. How else can you say if the solution has achieved higher added value? So, we need the second relationship of the benefit to the need. If you compare the original need to the benefit, you can evaluate it according to quantitative or qualitative sales. For example, there was the need to decrease costs by 50% within a year on the cost level. 53% was achieved. The goal can easily be compared with the original need. These two new relationships create a form reminiscent of a kite and not a turtle. The back legs of the turtle. Stakeholders are interested in a change, who are affected by it or influence it. Depending on this, stakeholders are allocated the need, change or solution. Usually, a need arises because the stakeholders express a wish or determine a problem. All core concepts of business analysis are, after all, influenced by the contents in the circumstances like, for example, culture, technology, infrastructure, processes, or behavior. More relationships from the shell of our total overall. For example, between the need and the stakeholder, or the stakeholder and the benefit. An overview of the core concepts of business analysis with their relationships can be found in the graphic. Overview on the business analyst activities. Business analysis covers the following major activities. Strategic definition. Understanding the environment your business operates in is a key part of planning, 
and will allow you to discern the threats and opportunities associated with your area of business. Internal analysis. An internal analysis looks at factors within your business such as your strengths and weaknesses. External analysis. An external analysis looks at the wider business environment that affects your business. The definition of business need. Business needs are gaps between the company's current state and its goals. Needs are the basic factors of changes in the organization, which are defined as requirements and implemented by employing people, implementing projects, transforming operations and purchasing goods. An essential aspect of working at the workplace is understanding the purpose of the project. It allows you to get and analyze the requirements. It will allow you to ask yourself the right questions, ask for the right things and set proper priorities. As a result, it will be possible to reject requirements that do not meet your needs. Understanding and meeting company's key business needs and challenges are crucial for developers and decision makers interested in sustainable economic development at local and regional levels. In such cases, eco-industrial science can provide valuable information on the implementation of support and cooperation that leads to business and social benefits. As the results show, sustainable development is the main reason companies should not abandon economic development objectives. Business needs are the company's needs that describe in turn goals, business goals, requirements to be met, problems which the company is trying to solve. To define and fully understand the business needs of the project, you need to look at the business factors and problems to determine whether a change or design is even needed. The first important task is to identify business needs. The business need usually defines the problem. Organizations often consider adding new or challenging existing opportunities based on new market opportunities, customer feedback, newly available technologies or meet changing legal and regulatory requirements. After defining and agreeing on business needs for the project, no significant changes are expected in the project life cycle. To define and fully understand the business needs of the project, you need to look at business factors and problems to determine whether a change or design is even required. The project manager, business analyst or both are now the principal investigator, questioning business needs and assumptions to ensure that the problem or opportunity is addressed correctly. Gap analysis. A gap analysis is a method of assessing the performance of a business unit to determine whether business requirements or objectives are being met and, if not, what steps should be taken to meet them. A gap analysis may also be referred to as a needs analysis, needs assessment or need gap analysis. The gap in the gap analysis process refers to the space between where we are as a part of the business, the present state and where we want to be, the target state or desired state, which also include solution proposal, including feasibility analysis and solution delivery or maintenance program or project initiation. Management of business analysis processes. Business analysis process definition for organization, program, project or other forms of change development or implementation works, etc. Communication planning, work products management, tools and techniques selection. 
Requirements Engineering in Business Analysis. Requirement Management. Under Requirement Management, we have Requirements Communication, Requirements Tracing, Requirements Configuration and Change Management, Requirements Quality Assurance, Requirement Development. Under Requirement Development, we have Requirements Elicitation, including stakeholders and or product requirements. Development Requirements Analysis and Specifications Solution Modeling Requirements Validation and Verification Solution Evaluation and Optimization Assessing the Solution Options Proposals Evaluating Performance of the Solution Solution Business Process Optimization These activities produce different work products or artifacts. Some of them, such as use cases, requirements, and design documents, describe solutions functions, logic, or design. In contrast, others are consigned with the delivery process itself, such as business cases, plans, and risk assessments. It is necessary to ensure that all key artifacts are under version control and correctly traced to their origin. Business Analyst Work Products A work product is a document or collection of notes or diagrams used by the business analyst during the requirements development process. The business analyst identifies the needs and wants of the stakeholders during the requirements elicitation process. Requirements are generally not readily available like fruits on trees. Using various elicitation techniques, the business analyst needs to bring forth or draw out requirements from stakeholders. Though requirements available in documents or on existing legacy systems can be gathered, the real underlining needs of stakeholders can be identified by techniques such as interviews, observations, prototypes, focus groups, workshops, etc. The business analyst must be competent enough to quickly document the data and information identified during such elicitation sessions. Some of the tools used by the business analyst to capture the information or requirement includes meeting notes, scrambling on a piece of paper, notes on a whiteboard, an audio or video recording, photographs, status report, presentations or even some diagrams drawn using some tool to quickly capture stakeholder needs. A work product may or may not end up becoming a deliverable. The business analyst may grow the work product and structure it in a manner presentable to the stakeholders and thus make it a deliverable. In addition to documenting elicited requirements, a work product may be used to share information with stakeholders. The typical work products of business analysis activities are strategy definition, management of the business analysis process, requirements engineering in business analysis, solution evaluation and optimization. Strategy definition covers list of stakeholders business processes, gaps, market research results, business needs, business requirements, solution options, list of business risks, opportunities, business constraints, business case, 
Management of the business analysis process contains business analysis approach, communication plan, business analysis access, including templates, etc. Quality gates for requirements and or solution design. Requirements engineering in business analysis contains stakeholder requirements solution or product requirements, solution constraints, solution design options, requirements traceability matrix RUTM, requirements configuration, solution evaluation and optimization contains solution performance assessment, improvement plan. These deliverables support the understanding of the vision and mission of the organization. The vision describes the future state of the solution under development. It reflects customer and stakeholder needs and the future and capabilities proposed to meet those needs. The main goal of a business analyst is to provide business solutions that add value to the business. To provide a business solution that provides a measurable benefit to the organization, the business analyst must have knowledge of the business domain. Understanding the business, its rules, processes, risks, and contexts are necessary conditions for effective and valuable business analysis. Domain knowledge is not a replacement for business analysis methods. Both domain knowledge and methods knowledge are needed to be a good business analyst. The business analyst must also understand the domain environment related to the domain knowledge. The business analyst needs the following competencies to effectively understand and work within the defined domain. Analytical thinking and problem solving skills. Behavioral characteristics, business knowledge, basic technical knowledge, interaction skills, negotiation skills and diplomacy, some level of managerial skills, creativity, communication skills. Communication skills are essential for the success of the business analyst. Communication skills typically include the following. Ability to communicate with all levels of management. Ability to communicate with stakeholders of various knowledge levels. Precision in articulating ideas and thoughts. Ability to relate with line workers. Good technical writing skills. Strong communication skills in all forms, verbal, non-verbal, and written. In addition, the business analyst should be an effective facilitator to enable groups to work cooperatively and effectively. In the context of business analysis, facilitation requires the following skills. Leading. Solving issues, building team and community, empowering people, resolving conflicts, transforming, introducing change, evoking wise democracy, building personal effectiveness. Influential business analysts use facilitation to support working with a group of stakeholders to elicit, document, analyze, verify, and achieve consensus on requirements. A good facilitator demonstrates the following competencies. Connects with the group quickly. Communicates and listens well. Processes ideas from people. Shows a natural interest. Negotiates between parties. 
understand group dynamics and empowers the group focuses on business not on personal solutions helps the group to listen and draw logical conclusions some of the tools used in facilitation include gap analysis flip charts checklist multi-voting root cause analysis brainstorming focus group framework many business analysts lack formal training and experience as facilitators and sometimes have difficulty running a facilitation section for business analysis facilitation techniques focus on the skills necessary to elicit and analyze business needs requirements and stakeholders expectations knowing what to ask how to ask and how to help the stakeholders discover their requirements are all critical skills for the business analyst role within the business analyst role there can be a defined career path that reflects the progress of developing skills and competencies some sample classification include based on the specification profile generalist practitioner specialist practitioner iiba competency based on the level of proficiency junior business analyst intermediate business analyst senior business analyst based on the scope of responsibilities enterprise ba program ba and project ba congratulations for completing chapter one fundamentals of business analysis this is module one business analysis fundamentals thank you